Hello and welcome back to the End User Report. Again, this is Clarence alongside Jamal. Today's discussion is Hulu Plus. Is it worth the money? This is Hulu's premium package for roughly $9.99 a month. You get special access um, to entire seasons of shows. Uh, for instance, you can watch all nine seasons of The X-Files. That's a big thing for me. I like The Smoky Man. Um, <laughs> It broadcasts in 720 p. Uh, uh, there's currently about a selection of 30 shows that you can watch, the latest episodes in the current season. They also have a library where there's about the same number of shows, about 30, where you can watch a past season. It's currently uh, available for all your iDevices, so your iPhones, your iPads, PC and Mac, also available on Samsung TVs. And Blu-rays, and most recently, as of, I believe, July 17th, uh, they did start testing it on the PS3. Um, now, if you go to Hulu's website, uh, they will tell you that it is going to be released later this year on uh, Sony and Vizio TVs and Blu-rays. And early of 2011, it is coming to the Xbox 360. Now, given... The limited amount of content. Do you feel that Hulu Plus is worth it? Uh, no. I'll tell you why. Now, according to Hulu, this is what they're going to offer. And honestly, I think it's just a play on Apple and um, conspiracy theory. Well, not conspiracy theory, but I'm just going to do a rant here. And uh, please bear with me on this, but. We all know Apple hates Flash. And guess what, guys? Hulu plays on Flash. If you go to the Hulu website, so if you have an Apple iPhone or an iPad, and you want to go to Hulu.com, guess what? You can't go there. So what happens? Hulu and Apple get together and say, let's create a application or an app that you can put on the iPhone or the iPad, and we'll charge you $10 a month, which is free on the Internet. Um... So why would you pay ten dollars a month when it's free on the internet? Um, although this is what Hulu says, oh, you can have the apps ported. That's nice. It's portable. Um, you get entire seasons of current shows, like you mentioned, X, X Files, and they offer HD offerings on uh, on the shows. Which uh, last time I checked, they offer HD offerings on the online version too. So really, what are you getting for ten dollars? Um, in my opinion, you, you, what you're getting is the ability that I have an iPad, and now I can I can watch Hulu on my iPad. So I bought an eight hundred dollar iPad. Well, if you go to the cheaper version, it's five hundred dollars, and uh, uh, now I pay ten dollars a month, and I get really a limited offering from Hulu. Um, doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can. Get Netflix for eight ninety nine, and it's a better service. And it's a better service. More options too. More <laughs> options. I mean, what? <laughs> People don't do this. <laughs> yeah, I have to see, I agree. Don't do this. I mean, essentially, you're paying ten dollars a month to watch reruns of Ally McBeal. I mean, uh, really, seriously. Uh, right now, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, no. I mean, if you're somebody out there who maybe you don't have some type of cable service. Or maybe you don't. Here's, here's the biggest catch, and I really wanted to mention this. You pay ten dollars a month, and you still have to sit through those crappy advertisements. Man, that's ridiculous. Really, really Netflix? I mean, who? <laughs> Excuse me. I got so angry and started blaming Netflix. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can watch <laughs> you can watch Hulu for free. You still, I mean, you have to sit there through commercials. I would figure that if I had to pay for this service, the least you could do is make it so I don't have to watch commercials. I mean, if it was it was if it was commercial free, I would be willing to pay the ten dollars a month because that would I would add that as my entertainment budget. But I'm paying ten dollars a month, and I don't get all the sh I really don't get all of the offerings, but still can't get the Daily Show, which is a big. Uh, Thing for me, I guess. I don't know about anyone else. Um, actually, when you go to Hulu Plus and you click on Daily Show, you know what it does? It ports you to the uh, Comedy Central. Website. Yeah. <laughs> Lame. Um, but it all goes back really a um, couple of years back, and this is really 
um, what I call the uh, back in the days. Well, when, of course, when I was about five, six years ago, there was something called DMB in Korea, and it's called digital uh, mobile broadcasting. And what that basically is, you had these really cool devices, something that you can never get in America, and you have over the air digital broadcasting directly ported into your phone. Um, it came with antennas, um, and it was just a free service. Um, <clears throat> I, I just think that this is the American, and I put cash, 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 and, and, uh, emphasis on it, of DMB. Um, the reason why it's not offered in here, because let's face it, HD, the HD video is floating in the air, guys. I mean, it's free. Well, well not only that. Also, if you have some of these other devices, especially a PS3 or an Xbox, you don't need this app no. to get it there. Uh, most of your, your average person isn't going to know that, and that's why we do have these apps, is because your average person doesn't want to have I, I got a question for you. You have uh, Xbox 360, right? Yes, I do. And you have the Netflix on it? I don't have the Netflix on it, no. I have... Uh, I actually use a program called Tversity. I can stream Hulu directly to that. Okay. Um, your your average user though, what would they have apps because they want a one button, a one click solution. Um, and I, mean, I think that's why we have these apps in existence. Would you? Would you? I mean, it, it was almost like telling the user to make a choice: Netflix or Hulu, or would you have both? I mean, if you were an X, I don't have an Xbox 360. But I guess if I had one, I, I, I would feel like I'd have to make a choice uh, as whether I want to be with Netflix or with Hulu. And uh, most people, I think, might, I would choose Netflix because you already have a Netflix account. You set it up on your Xbox or your PS3. Uh, you, you put your username and password, and, 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 and you're golden. Well, I think the only people that are, are really going to look at Hulu Plus are people who really don't have a lot of TV options currently. You know, they've got some kind of basic service through a cable or satellite provider, and this, you know, for an additional $10 a month, you get maybe some more options there. Outside of that, I really don't see right now why I'm going to sign up for, for Hulu Plus. Uh, I think, I mean, I think they, they have a kind of a good foundation here right now, and I think that cable and satellite providers might want to pay attention here. Because at the end of the day, I mean, these options are limited. But how many times have you said to yourself, and you look at your package bill, and you say, well, how many of these channels do I actually watch? Sure. I mean, I can sum up my TV viewing in, in a couple sentences. You know, give me CBS, Fox, <laughs> on Sunday yep. for football so I can watch my Steelers beat your stupid bears. <laughs> give me ESPN on Monday nights. Yep. And give me the CW on Thursday and Friday. So other than that, you know, I'm on my Xbox. I'm on my computer. You know, I'm not watching. I, the whole I totally TV. agree with you. I think um, Hulu Plus is is missing. I would actually buy into the service if, for me, what's important. And I know a lot of people like you mentioned football. If I purchase Hulu Plus, I would even I would even pay an extra, another ten dollars, like twenty dollars a month. If I could get like a season package where I get all the football games on my iPad, on my phone, um, that would be worth the money. Just that alone would be worth the money. And I know it's probably not going to happen because I know uh, uh, and the NFL has its own channel and exclusivity, exclusivity and um, uh, of course uh, Major League Baseball, but still. Um, Maybe offer soccer to buy soccer fans. Or how about pay the $20, pay the $10, and give me all of the shows, or offer all the shows at HP. So, so I guess looking at this, I guess we're both in, in agreement here. As far as Hulu Plus, you should take it with more kind of a wait and see attitude. Yeah. Um, and the main thing right now that we are looking at is content. Um, and another thing about the content, you're not going to find any CBS content here, so nope, that's all you two-and-a-half men fans, I'm sorry. <laughs> not going to be there for you. That's true. And and let's 
this off, uh, let's talk about maybe some other offense that uh, we already mentioned Netflix, but there's uh, Mobi TV, which has been porting TV to cell phones for years. That's an option there, and that um, is nine ninety nine per month, um, and that allows you to pick sport. It's, it's really geared for sports fans, so it's something that I will uh, look into. Alright, well that does about sum it up here for us here at the Unusual Report. Um, if you do have any comments or questions, you can now follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. Also, uh, you can also send us emails uh, to the End User Report at twcny.rr.com. Speaking of emails, have you gotten any? I haven't gotten any yet. Oh, boo. Okay. you got to work on that. Perhaps. That's, that's all your fault. Yes. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. Signing off. Jamal. Signing off. Jamal. Bye-bye.